everybody. Today we are going to create a simple model in Abacus. Uh, the aim of this project, this simulation, is just to show you the utilities and functionality of Abacus in modeling mechanical models. For this session, uh, I'm going to model a simple Euler Bernoulli beam, as you see in here, which from one side, from left side, is attached to wall. It has a fixed boundary condition and from right side uh, it's free and uh, uniformly distributed load has been applied to this cantilever. So uh, from the elasticity mechanics you can easily drive these formulas, formulas for bending moments, shear forces and maximum deflection. And consequently, you can sketch these diagrams for bending, shear, and deflection. So in our course, we are going to see how we can get these uh, diagrams and especially the maximum deflection of the beam. So let's get started. Like every finite element software or in general engineering software for modeling, first of all we need to create a geometry. The geometry for itself adds complexity for the problem because of some issues that later we will see. The first part is creating a, a geometry. So I'm going to click on parts. Sorry. I'm going to cl cl click on parts and create a solid 3D model. So I name it uh, beam and I will use extrusion model because I'm going to create a cross section and after that extrude it in depth. Continue and just sketch a simple cross-section. So our cross-section dimensions are half meter in half meter. So of course this this problem is not realistic problem just I'm going to show you how to model in Abacus. So you can use whatever you want, I mean dimensions. Enter, done. And then I will extrude it. I will extrude it for three meters. And here we go. You see, we have our Euler Bernoulli beam, our geometry, and in the next module, I'm going to add material properties. So, I first of all, I must introduce a material. So I can click on create material. And this window will open and you will see a couple of tabs on it. That depends on your analysis. You will use some of these tabs. But the most important tab is density. Almost for every analysis, you will use density. So, in this example, I'm going to use... Uh, steel material so the density of steel is 7,850 and from mechanical tab elasticity because we are analyzing it in elastic regime and young module of 161 power to 9, 161 giga pascal and poison ratio of 0 0.35 okay there are other tabs that depending on your analysis as I said you can use for example plastic models if your deflections goes to plastic area you can use these plastic models or damage models if you will lose some of the material and elements 
of the model will be removed you must use these uh, damage models or for heat transfer you must use conductivity or specific heat, uh, specific heat blah 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 so for our analysis these uh, sections are enough I click OK and then I will create a section my section is solid homogeneous continue material one okay and then I will assign this section to my geometry that's it now our geometry has the property of steel material which is assigned to this part in Abacus if you assign material to the geometry the color of the um, geometry will change to green next part is assembly in assembly you can assemble uh, parts of the problem together of course in here we have just a beam so it's easy no need to do anything special I just create an assembly introduce it but in complex models probably you will need to translate some parts to revolve them or some other uh, uh, things that's depending on your simulation you will need to do the most important part is a step in a step we define how abacus will solve the problem uh, if I want to summarize I can tell you that in abacus we have two methods of solving a problem explicit and implicit for steady uh, problems for static problems we use static general but if your problem involves in dynamic regime like impact of a spherical ball to a plate or uh, uh, forming analysis you need to do dynamic analysis dynamic explicit here is the, we don't have too much time to explain what are these uh, analysis types but in next uh, videos that I'm going to upload I will try to explain you in details uh, what are the functionality of all these um, steps so continue okay interaction we don't have an interaction because uh, we don't have any mm, surfaces that are in contact together so we just skip this module and we enter to load boundary condition as I showed you in the picture left side is it fixed so we have to have a fixed boundary condition and the right side is free so I create a boundary condition symmetric boundary condition and I put fixed boundary condition in this end and all degrees of freedom must be constrained u1 u2 u3 ur1 ur2 ur3 equals to zero as you see in here and of course this part must be free so we don't need to have any boundary condition here now I must apply load so I click on create load pressure uniform pressure uniformly distributed load click on this side because we will apply the load to this side and click done and enter a number so I enter 200 kilo pascals oops 200 kilopascals let's see if it's enough for deflection or is too high I don't know and mesh part first we must assign nodes we must define 
half abacus must mesh the geometry in here you see approximate global size point zero point three simply it means that in each point, uh, 0 0.3 units of length software will place a node so if I reduce it for example if I put it in 0 0.1 I will have finer mesh if I increase it for example to 6 I will have coarser mesh for this problem 0 0.1 is satisfactory apply you see the nodes or even you can uh, make it more finer and mesh so here is our finite model discretized geometry here are our element structured mesh has been created on the model and our model is ready to analyze it. I go to job model, I create a job, name it beam, continue, and sub the job. Finished now results. Okay, you see this is the deflection of our beam. Of course, our load was not too high because we don't have too much deflection. We can increase the load and see what will happen. I increase it to six hundred kilopascal. Because this is a static model and simple model, Abacus doesn't need too much computational effort to solve it. You see that it just solved the problem in, in, in seconds. Um, but if you have more complex models, especially dynamic models, sometimes it takes 20 hours to solve the whole problem, depending on your computational facilities. Here we are, we have the model, you can see the deflection, so U is the deflection, so you see that this part, blue part, which is fixed, is our wall which is, has a zero displacement and this red part is a free end which has a almost four millimeter of displacement which is not, not too much because we didn't apply too high load. So for today this is enough. I uh, hope you will do it for yourself this analysis and if you have any question just don't hesitate to write me in comments. Goodbye.